Hmm, so you want to learn how to use Adobe Photoshop and design your own business card in less than 10 minutes? Let me show you how. my beautiful friend hope every single one of you are doing great and wherever you are the smile is on your faces if you're not smiling please do so now and in this video I will be showing you the easiest way possible that you can use Adobe Photoshop without any background knowledge about this software and create your own professional looking business card the way that you want it to be in less than 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes and the clock is ticking so let's get started so as the first step, you'll have to go to this website, QR code generator, and you go to vCard over here, and you just plug in your data that you want. So whoever has your business card is gonna be able to just scan to save your contact information on their phone. So just plug in your data, generate QR code, and over here, you'll be able to download the JPEG file, okay? Come on, come on, okay. I have it over here. I'm just gonna save it in the file that I have, okay? This is a great database for downloading the icons that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna share my email, phone number, address, and website on this business card. I just put email, and the one that I'm gonna use on this is this one. Just make sure that you go to filters and turn on the free. So you have the free ones. For example, if you need this, just click on it and you download the PNG file. And just download the simple ones, the ones without these circular or rectangular shapes. These all are gonna do the job. You have to know the dimensions of your business card. For example, if you are using Vista Print, if you go to the business card section and you scroll down, over here pro product specification, here you see the full bleed size. This is the one that we are going to work on. If I open my Adobe Photoshop, you can see the back side and the front side of the business card that we are going for right now in this tutorial. I'll go to File, New, so you remember the dimensions that we got from the printing websites, the standard one. Over here, I select inches. For the width, I put 3.6, the full bleed size, and over here, I put two. For the resolution, I put 350 DPI and color mode CMYK and create. I double click on this background over here and hit OK, so it's unlocked. And in the next step, I select pen tool, pen tool, and I go to a dark gray color over here you are on shape I click in the middle and then over here to create this shape and then I click on the on an empty space over here this is the color code and then I just use the pen tool I click over here here and here and then I just rotate it just move it to the left and then I deselect it, I click over here, I use the same tool, darker color, and then I just click over here, here, and here. I can just move it to the right, and then I just select the layer from here, I put it beneath. I'm just gonna select this color using the eyedropper, I double click on this, you see this layer? It's over here. So I double click over here, and in here, I just click here and I have the same color selected. I'm gonna group all of these. So I hold control, click on this, this, and this, and I right click on any and go on group from layers and hit OK. So all of these are in one group right now. I go to rectangle tool and then I just draw a rectangular shape this big. And the next step, what I need to do is to just open this select this layer and drag it beneath the gray one so it's going to be between the white layer and the gray color i just double click over here i name it one i right click duplicate layer and then i go to move tool i just drag it and bring it lower if i'm on move tool and drag it and bring it here i'll be able to adjust all of them and align them all together i click over here move it to the left I do the same to this one you see these two so I name this two I just if you double click you can rename them I right click on this duplicate layer okay and then I just move another one here 
I name this tree, right click, duplicate, okay. Bring it lower, awesome. I'm just gonna close this group. I go to the folder, I have my QR code. So I just drag and drop it inside my Adobe Photoshop over here on the top. And then I go to rectangular tool over here for selection. I select this and hold shift to make sure it's a, a square. And then I go to move tool and you just drag and drop it over your business card. I'm just gonna put it here, make it a little bit smaller, hit okay. Then I'm just gonna add the company's name. I go to type tool over here, the horizontal type tool. I just select where I want it to be, I drag and drop. And then I just type business and I just make it bigger. Select it all over here. I select the font color. The font that I'm using is called Bebas Newe. I'm just gonna include it below in the description so you can just download and use it. And then I just click anywhere else. Okay, I adjust it. I am just gonna select the type tool again. I'm just gonna drag and drop over here. I make the font smaller, let's say seven. Type your slogan here. And I just put it, just drag and drop it here. Just make this larger. I select type tool, again the same. I click over here. I want, I change the font color by clicking over here to black. I use move tool to move this guy over here. And then I'm just gonna choose a simpler font. Here we go, for name here. This is the narrow one. I'm just gonna select the regular one, put it here. I'm gonna go to line tool over here, line tool. The color is nice. Then I just hold shift on my keyboard and draw a line over here. If you wanna make it larger, you just double click on the, sh the shape four, which is the shape that we just created. You go to stroke and you go to outside. You select the same color and then you just adjust the size as you want. Then I'm gonna have my job title. I make it smaller, move tool, just drag and drop it here. I'm gonna need to move these guys a little bit lower. So I scroll down, you remember we named them one, two, three, four. So I hold control on my keyboard, select one, two, three, four. I go to move tool and move all of them a little bit, a little bit lower. Nice. And now the icons that I've downloaded or you're gonna download them from flaticon.com. So these are the ones that I'm gonna just select them all. I just drag and drop them to my Photoshop. All right, I'm gonna start with the phone. I just drag and drop it using move tool. And I'm just gonna make it smaller using this, you see width and height, let's say 11%. And then I hit enter, enter, and I just move it to the right. And I, if I uncheck this, I'm gonna be able to move it. Okay, if I double click on that over here in layers, and I go to color overlay, I'm gonna be able to put the opacity on 100 and select the color that I want. So I put it on white. Okay, I do the same to the other ones. And then I use move tool and just remove my ruler outside so it's removed. And then all is left is the address and the info. So I use the type tool. I just drag the area over here. Okay, I put my number. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. You're all set. And then I just adjust it using move tool. And then I put the email, let's say email at your domain.com. I use move tool then to just adjust it. And then I put it my address, your domain.com. I use the move tool to adjust it. And then the address. Let's say one, two, three, four, six, Avenue, New York, and Y. I 
just with a space and then I use move tool and just drag and drop it here and you're done with the back side and for the front side I do the same I go to file new I go to inches I plug in the same number 3.6 to 350 and make sure this is on pin pixels per inches and over here CMYK create and all you need to do over here to get that back side I'm gonna go to here hold control have the gray one and then I scroll up and the business while holding control and the slogan where is it here and then while I'm holding control I use move tool and I just select them and drag them and drop them on my new layer I'm gonna have them here okay and all you need to do to adjust the size so you select the shape the gray one you go to move tool you ch check this just enlarge this enter and the business and the slogan and I'm just gonna hold control select business and slogan link them so they move together put them in the center and then I'm just gonna use the color eyedropper select this color go to the same side go to shape rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle which is gonna cover from here to here and then if your text is below it you just drag it from here and drop it on top of the gray one and yeah that's it for exporting if you want to export this you go to file save as you go from save as file type you go to jpeg and you just say okay business card back you hit save and make sure that you select a large file and hit okay and you do the same for this one and you're all set just make sure that you put a 0.1 inches from each side for the trimming so you don't lose any of your main content so make sure that you have that margin so if you if you just drag and bring the ruler down you're gonna be able to see you see it's 0.08 right now so if I drop it over here any of my main content is inside so I do the same from here as well so it is 2 I go up until it's 1.9 okay all set and we do the same from here 1.0.1 nice and over here yeah so everything is within the trimming margin and you're gonna have a perfect business card congratulations you just made your own business card using adobe photoshop yeah and just feel free to customize it and make it the way that you want it to be let me know below in the comments if you have any questions about this tutorial so if you enjoyed this, make sure to give me a thumbs up below this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to support what I'm doing and for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.